Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will talk about the Chicago Bears and their impressive 37-17 home win over the Atlanta Falcons. The star of the show, Justin Fields, led the Bears' offense to an incredible 432 yards. Even more impressive, they had zero turnovers and managed to snatch the ball four times from the Falcons. The Bears are showing what they're made of. I'm super excited about their defense in the upcoming season. Lately, there's been a big shift in opinion about Justin Fields as the main quarterback for the Bears next season. And I'm not just talking about Bears fans. I mean, the wider NFL community is starting to see his potential. During the game against the Falcons, the energy at field was electric. Fans were clearly behind Justin, chanting for him. His teammates, like DJ Moore, are openly supportive, saying things like, he's our guy, there's a strong bond forming, with everyone rallying behind Fields, aiming for Super Bowl victories. It seems like people are finally recognizing that the Bears' events, especially in the latter half of the season, wasn't just about DJ Moore and Cole Komet. There's a growing acknowledgement that Fields deserves more credit. There's still a crucial game against the Green Bay Packers coming up. Before we talk about that, remember to like and subscribe for daily NFL content. Comparing the Detroit Lions' journey to the Bears'. The Lions finished last year with a strong second half, while the Bears started this season with a 3-7 record, but have since improved to 6-2. There were games like against the Denver Broncos and the Cleveland Browns where the Bears showed they could have easily been a 10-win team. Even if the Bears miss the playoffs, defeating the Packers in Week 18 would be a huge moral victory. Plus, they have two first-round picks in the upcoming draft. Let's talk about Justin Fields. In his last 17 starts, he's racked up 4,200 total yards, 27 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, and a passer rating of 85.1. In the last five games, he's been particularly impressive. However, there's a trend in how people view Fields' performance. When the Bears lose, it's often seen as a quarterback issue. But when they win, like in four of their last five games, that narrative changes. This inconsistency in judgment is something Bears fans are all too familiar with. Now, let's discuss the Atlanta Falcons game. Fields played phenomenally, 20 of 32 for 268 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions, and he also ran for 45 yards, scoring another touchdown. However, the Bears' center position, especially Lucas Patrick, has been a weak spot, allowing pressures and penalties. But credit where it's due, offensive coordinator Luke Getze called a great game. Yet I'm still puzzled by the Bears' overuse of screen passes this season. It just doesn't seem to fit with Fields' style. In conclusion, the energy and unity around Justin Fields are noticeable. He's proven himself and deserves to be the starting quarterback next season. A win over the Packers would be the cherry on top, solidifying Fields' position and showing that head coach Matt Eberflus is on the right track. That wraps up our discussion for today. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and let us know. After the game against Atlanta, do you think Justin Fields should be the starting quarterback next season?